Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Joshino and today we're going to talk about all the skins that dropped in OB50 Paladin's latest patch for PC. And boy there have been loads of skins dropping with this patch with superheroes, toy guns and even wrestlers. Alongside that I'm going to be running a competition, as always the high res devs give me some keys to give away every pretty much two weeks when a patch comes out. And we've got quite a few things to give away this time. I've got one Buck Wild, one Vigilante Shaolin skin, and three Wreck Chests to give away to five lucky winners. So how exactly do I enter, you might ask? And if you didn't know, Paladins just brought in new announcer packs. And in my opinion, I think there should be a Joshino announcer pack in there as well. And if there was to be a Joshino announcer pack, what would you like some of the lines to be that the announcer says? Only put one line in particular, and put it in a comment in the comments section below. For the wreck chest, I'll just pick three random people that have basically done the competition and are putting something, a voice line in there. And then the Vigilante Shaolin and the Buckwild, I'll go through myself and try and pick out two of the best. Now if you put a comment and lots of people start commenting on it, the problem is if I reply to that comment, I reply to absolutely everybody. So what I'd say if you start seeing people replying to your comment, then put your Twitter handle in your own comment, just so that I can message you directly pretty easily. I also have a Glean competition giving away one of the Book Wilds and one of the Wreck Chests, which you can check out in the comments section below, will be pinned as well, but you'll have less chance of winning that as a lot of people are entering it. But that's just easy to enter, it's pretty much one click and follow, and if you're subscribed you'll be able to enter anyway. So let's get on with the skins overview. So the first set of cosmetics I'm going to talk about are the Wrecked Weapons Chest. Now these are 150 crystals each roll for this chest, and I know a lot of people are complaining about this because it is a pretty high price for a chest roll, comparing it to 75 of the Overgrown, it's pretty much twice the price, or even 40 on the Emporium chest. But every time you do get a weapon. But anyway, let's just go in and have a look at the items. So first of all, I wasn't 100% sure how this would fit into the game. Because a lot of the lore speculation at the moment goes along the fact that every weapon is powered by crystals. Now these weapons sort of go against that ideology because there aren't any cr crystals on a lot of the weapons anymore. And just generally a toy weapon in a fantasy game is kind of, in my opinion, a bit out of the ordinary. Now I know a lot of other people are probably like, well it's okay to be creative with these skins. And honestly, when I first started playing the game when OB50 was live, so many people had the wrecked weapons and obviously had been opening the chest, so it must have been popular. Anyway, let's just go through each of them straight away. So, the wrecked boomstick is Barrick's weapon, and instead of firing, a lot of them have darts, but this one has nerf balls. I mean, I wouldn't want to be really hit by any of those, even though it's a toy gun, and you do end up killing people in the game, so they are deadly. Just in general, yeah, it's a nice, nice skin. Um, I mean, the skins in general are they're good. They're good, they're high quality. Like everything there is pretty awesome, and it's awesome that you can see the balls just above the weapon. But this is where actually the crystal would have been. So next up is the wreck carbine for Tyra. I think this was a bit more basic. There isn't actually a lot of detail in this one. You just have the uh, sort of toy weapon cap thing, and you can see all the darts in her magazine. Um, but that one's pretty basic. The Shaolin bow does have something that looks like crystals still, where the crystals were before. Shaolin actually bashes that crystal when he ultimates, so it's an interesting lore point there. Um, and, I mean, it's more of a coloration again. There isn't a lot changed about this, but when you fire off the weapons, and fortunately it's not shown on this shot preview, but they're like massive dart things with a big rubber end, and the rubber ends are huge. It's actually hilarious to fire them off. It was in my live stream when I was live streaming the PTS. Now the Wreck Grover one, it looks basic, but what is cool about it is that it has this big rubber tip on it. It just It's quite silly. And, I mean, this is probably one of the most basic ones out of all of them. There isn't a lot to the skin. It's not got a lot of parts, and because it's an axe, you're just chucking these nerf axes at people. But, I mean, if you want that, that's a wrecked hacker. And also, let's go back to the... There's a wrecked great bone, wrecked carbine there. Now onto the wrecked hand cannon for Andruxus. This one is probably one of the better ones. It fires off the darts that fall off the wall and stuff, and just generally looks rather nice. And Androxus doesn't actually have any um, actual full-on remodels, so this is like the furthest it goes in terms of that for Androxus. And comparing, the the only thing with Androxus is there's a very nice Monarch Revolver in the Overgrown chest, which does look a lot better than this, but that's the one thing I haven't got. I haven't got the Monarch Revolver. 
and that's a wrecked hand cannon. And the wrecked impaler is Cassie's one. Now this one also fires out these pretty chunky dart. This one's a, one of the ones that is a bit different, but the only thing with the crossbow when it's in the wrecked, it looks kind of stubby, like quite chunky at the end. It looks kind of odd. But what's interesting is like the, the sort of 3D-ness of it. There's like a cover with the wrecked symbol, like almost a plastic cover. And then the, the actual crossbow's body underneath housed is white. Then the wrecked Longo, this is Knessa's one. I mean, this is more like a recolor more than anything. There's not a lot to say about this one. It just fires out the darts as well. Personally, this one isn't my top one. And you've got the Nova Strike Knessa that's actually running out this patch to go off instead. Then onto the book one, we've got the balls again. And we've also got the four ball thing here where he fires out the net, I think. Um, and also the little darts on the side here. And the pump is like this white colour, so the theme is obviously this white, orange and yellow. And yeah, Book 1's is actually quite good because it fires out a spread of pellets and they all stick onto the wall and fall down, which is rather cool to look at. Victor again, almost more like a coloration more than anything, and just fires out the darts. I mean, it's an okay skin, but nothing to write home about here. And the big one that a lot of people want is the Rex Spray. Apparently you can't look at it in the shop, I don't know why, but it's actually the most uncommon item that's in this this crate, apparently, so the devs say. Um, but a lot of people like to put it down, I guess, if you kill somebody or like get a quadra kill and then you put down on the ground, get wrecked. And then some people will see that in the top play and get really annoyed about that. <laughs> I don't know where people will stand the fence on that one, but a lot of people do seem to want it and have got it in-game at the moment. So let's move on to the next set. So we'll have a quick look at the Charlin Vigilante sets. So this is the Vigilante. This is the one that I'm giving away. This is head, body, and weapon, and voice set as well. Now, the interesting parts of this, I actually showed it in the gameplay, is that when you right-click and you get your Impaler arrow ready, it actually lights up in this sort of blue energy. But also, when you're firing off your arrows, it hits the wall with a sort of le electric crackle. It's very cool. And like the idea of these... These wind-ups for the bow, but it's a rather epic skin, looks very homegrown like he's put it together himself. The one thing I don't like about this is the bandana. The mask is okay, but getting rid of the Charlin hair just make, it makes him look weird, like they're having the long hair pop out of the back. For me, it's really off-putting on this one. Vigilante set is 400 crystals. But looks rather nice and comes with a sort of slightly different, more superhero y voice. So, I actually prefer the Guardian visor that is in the Colossal Chest, and some way the Guardian um, body does look a bit cooler because it's got more black on it. It looks more epic. It looks, he looks, it's probably harder to see as well, more like blends in with the environment compared to the Vigilante chest, which is very bright and red in the center. But both of them are pretty nice, and I guess the only thing as well, like he's wearing an almost tank top kind of deal um, with the Vigilante set compared to the Guardian, which is a full body cover. And also you get the hair, which is awesome. So moving on to Buck, and this is the one that a lot of people are hyped about, and this is the Buck Wild Wrestler skin. He just pretty much looks like Hulk Hogan, just with uh, brown hair instead of blonde. He's got his full-on World Wrestling title there. Although it is actually the planet Earth rather than the Paladin's planet because obviously there's North America, South America and then we've got here all of Europe and Africa so it's yeah it's the actual world. Um, it's just got wild and the pants at the back, pretty ridiculous. It doesn't actually have a weapon but it does have a voice which is also ridiculous. Enemies on the point! Enemies on the point! Enemies on- The showman, which isn't playing, has a sound as well. It's the, the emote that comes with it, which is, yeah, pretty awesome. But the only problem is, Book's been nerfed this patch, so will people actually be playing with this? I'm not entirely sure. And then finally, we've got Star Glam Eevee. So if we view the collection, we've got the Star Glam weapon, which is a recolor more than anything with slight indentations as well. Personally, i only up there for those shades, which look just awesome, and the hair color. I'd probably just match it with something else, because I think this whole yellow sort of greeny theme isn't my cup of tea. If the whole thing had been sort of this light blue, the shades have been, then I'd be more up for it, like going around the back as well. Something I noticed on Eevee is that on all the default skins, it has this sort of shimmer, this sort of shimmering effect on their, their cloak, which is just cool, I thought. I didn't notice it before, but that that's something that exists. I think it's also on the book, or maybe not. 
um, I was completely wrong. But yeah, this, this is a cool little effect. And looks generally nice. But again, I'm not 100% sure why I dig the yellow that much. It almost looks like a Brazilian skin on, on the green and the yellow. But obviously, those, those are the national colours. Anyway, that was all of the skins in OB50. Again, if you want to enter the competition, put a Joshino announcer pack voice line into the comments section below with your best idea. If you want to enter that other one, then there's Gleam Link. And just let me know what you think about all the skins this patch. What do you think about the Rex skins? Do you think they're going too far or not? If you enjoyed my video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more of my content, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Joshino.